morning Tobago and welcome back to the Tobago Updates morning show. This is the Youth Wednesday morning show here on Tobago Updates. So our first interview this morning, we're going to be speaking with Mr. Quinton Andal and he's going to tell us a bit about a project that he has going on currently called the REACH Project. Good morning, Quinton. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fantastic. I'm fantastic. <laughs> Okay, so tell us about the Aglet, is it, REACH project? Yeah, for sure. Um, so what the REACH project essentially is, is our, I would like to say, our Resilience and Empowerment Community Initiative. And what that represents is an avenue for young persons like myself to find new avenues to explore entrepreneurship and um, various positive activity to be able to give back to our communities. Okay, and um, from what I can see here, REACH is actually an acronym. Tell the viewers a bit about the breakdown of that acronym, REACH. Yeah, so it stands for the Resilience um, Empowerment. We have Action. Um, we have the C that we leave the little mystery for now. And most importantly, H, which is Hope. Um, which is where we hope for a better future for our environment, our communities, our nation. So it allows us to kind of find our guiding with words, I would say, um, that would define us. Okay, and what was the driving force or the motivation behind you starting this initiative? For sure. So. For some time, I've actually always been very engaged in wanting to do more for my community. Um, unfortunately, this year would have been a year where I had to um, suffer a tragedy where I would have actually been a uh, circumstance where my grandparents would have had to be placed in an arson situation, unfortunately. Um, it kind of highlights the importance of crime and the importance of kind of connecting the policy decisions to the community and bringing that to the community level so i think these are the initiatives that would allow us to kind of connect with the community more than okay um wonderful i love that story so um in terms of the programs that are offered under the reach program tell us exactly how that works for sure so one of the key initiatives we'll be starting as of next month would be our free and subsidized tutoring services where we're going to be impacting a lot of young volunteers to be able to provide CSEC and keep um, subjects for uh, literally a minimal cost or no cost at all to be able to kind of give access to education to everyone across the board. Um, secondly, what we want to also aim to do is have mentorship programs because for like myself, um, being at 23, I was given the opportunity to work at some amazing companies and be able to showcase my talent. So the idea of the project is really to kind of bring that home and have young persons understand that they could reach for the stars and actually aim to do way more and explore their full potential as the future of the nation. Okay, wonderful. And there are many programs that are geared towards the academic development or development of young persons in general. What is your competitive advantage or what makes your program different from those other programs? I think that for me, what I'm aim for is more about the action. Uh, what I think that a lot of times would have been the case is that it would have been a little out of touch to young persons within the community. I think that while the idea is there, it didn't translate well towards my group itself. So while there's a lot of programs even so, I think that the problem would have been that it's lack of education of these programs itself or no um, knowledge of this. So the idea is not to replace the existing thing, it's more to build it itself and collaborate with NGOs and governmental organizations to build that. Okay, so in um, terms of collaboration and that kind of thing, um, how has the, in terms of the financing for the initiative, how has that been? Is it more volunteer donations? Is it an NGO? How does that aspect work? So essentially, we're split into two aspects of things. So our community initiatives are driven by our foundation. Um, this actually has been supported by um, Aglet Corporation for the longest while. 
Um, however, we'll be opening to the door to um, collaborators from in the next couple of months, I should say. Uh, right now, particularly, our main focus right now is building on the existing um, existing group that other organizations have. So partnering with some NGOs, especially in a couple of months, um, to deliver access to education to even the migrant population who have been disenfranchised or unavailable to be able to um, join this national school system. Okay, and in terms of the format of the program, is it going to be continuous or are you going to do it in cycles? How is that going to work? It continues. This is actually something that we want to be, um, as we grow as a company, we want to always have this initiative to allow that space. Okay, and in terms of contribution, how can persons contribute? I know that you said it's going to be free or subsidized tutoring sessions. So how can persons contribute towards the cause? So one thing we'll be launching very soon is our um, donations program as part of that. Additionally, just spreading the word and letting persons know about the availability of such programs to actually give a lot more persons access to it. it would be amazing just by that as well. Additionally, as time goes on, we'll be looking for that skill set and that drive. So essentially, we'll be looking for volunteers as well to help us with deliver this mandate. It's a huge mandate, um, but we're committed to actually getting it done. Okay, and I know earlier on you would have spoken to the demographic in terms of CSEC students, CAPE students, you said you will also aim at um, accommodating the migrant population. In terms of uh, um, um, the demographic, well, I mean, obviously you would have spoken to the demographic earlier, but um, you also have here um, co college readiness and um, career fairs and that kind of thing. Do you all, um, are you targeting a specific, let's say, area, or um, do persons have to, well, indicate their interest or are you all going to go to the schools and will highlight these students are the ones who are in need or these students are the ones who will be preferred for the program how does that work in terms of selection so right now it right now for like free programs we actually are looking with um working with unicef on combining the list for the migrant population etc um so that we can deliver through um various ngos through that efforts as for general selection we want to actually have persons express their interest that we'll be able to coordinate our physical classes and online classes as well through that um so essentially there would be a form that's created that is available on the agla website um agla.com reach and through that we can actually understand where most people needs are and then we can allocate resources to it Okay, and in terms of the volunteers, how qualified do they have to be, um, you know, in terms of like, I don't know, probably doing interviews or taking resumes, like, I'm not sure how the um, recruitment process is in terms of that, but um, how, how, would, how would that process, what would that process look like? A bit of interview just to get some formality into understanding a bit more in their background. Uh, additionally, we'll actually be training, so we actually have some persons from the ministry who will be assisting us when it comes to curriculum development. Now, these are just volunteers from the ministry and their own personal time to ensure that we can align with the national curriculums for these fields. Okay, wonderful. I really, you know, this is, this is very inspiring. I really like to hear these inspiring stories. I mean, the whole um, motivation behind the course and that kind of thing, this I really must commend you for have starting this initiative for young persons in the Trinidad and Tobago space. So in terms of contact information, I know you have a website, very, very informative, you know, social media, that kind of thing. Just let the viewers know how they can reach out to you, how they can contact you, whether they want to probably send one of their children, they want to donate, they want to volunteer. I mean, so many opportunities. So, you know, you could just give the viewers that kind of information. For sure, definitely. So um, for contact number, you can reach me at 367-6253. Additionally, there is 284-5849. And if by email, if you want to contact us by email, that is reach at aglet, a -G -G -L -E -T com. Okay, Quinton. And um, in terms of uh, persons that probably would have contributed already in terms of motivation, um, I don't know, probably finances and that kind of thing. Who do you want to recognize this morning for the success so far of the REACH project? 
I would personally like to just say I have to congratulate and thank my team. Um, I would have been able to build across a team from both Trinidad and Tobago and even extended that to St. Vincent, Grenada, and now even Sierra Leone. Um, so I'm super grateful for the young persons that are involved and actually showcasing their skills and being able to make a difference, an impactful difference to our society. Okay, wonderful. And I love that your reach would have spanned so far. So I can imagine the networking opportunities. And um, I know you would have also mentioned in the um, little write-up on the website, the networking opportunities we young persons can experience through the REACH project. So Quinton, we just want to thank you for coming on and chatting with us this morning. Okay. Viewers, remember to contact him via his social media. He also has a website and he would have shared his contact number. If you could just share it again for the viewers one more time. Yeah, sure. Again, that number is 367-6253. Okay, wonderful. Thank you so much, Quinton. Viewers, we're going to take a short break. And when we come back, we're going to be chatting with Nicosi Phillips. So remember to share the live, share the live, share the live.